Hey, uh, I just wanted to talk to you about our minutes distribution. Not so much for me, but I think we've got one of our most talented players sitting on the bench way too much. I'm giving Darrell Wright a shout out right here to get him some more minutes. Yeah, say no more. He's been terrific for us off the bench, and you could certainly argue that he's deserving of more minutes. Yeah, you know, he, he gives us a big lift every time he comes in. I, I just don't think we're losing anything by putting him out there, you feel me? Well, and it's a way to deepen our rotation and spread the minutes around. It makes a lot of sense. I'll see what I can do. No doubt. All right, well, uh, thank you. And uh, good talk, man. I'll, I'll see you later. But for the moment, we've got to stay together and keep our minds on this upcoming game against the Rockets. Right after the meeting with the GM, I checked the rotation, and he was instantly given four more minutes. Now after this game, I tried to see if I can go back to the GM and do it again to give him another boost in minutes, but that option wasn't there anymore. So hopefully, going forward, he'll just be in the starting lineup. Splash. In this game, I'm using the Gatorade signature skill. I wanted to give it a shot to see if it's really worth it because I figured if I don't get tired at all in the first quarter, when we get to the fourth quarter, maybe I'll have more energy because then in the second quarter, I won't really be that tired going into the half. Then maybe my energy will be maxed out starting off the second half. Now that's what I thought would happen, but it turns out in the fourth quarter of this game, I was still tired. Splash. And this game was actually a blowout. So I wasn't even using turbo much because we were up by so much in the second half. And even then I was still tired. It's that Lob City. I'm bringing you some really nice gameplay this season. That was beautiful basketball. What a cutback door. The montage is going to be so nice if I can put it together. And I actually heard about a glitch. People said that your replays, when you try to open them up, your Xbox will freeze. Hopefully that doesn't happen behind the back move by the brow. So I'm giving up on the Gatorade signature skill. I started using closer now in this slot. And in this game... My teammates are still scoring and I don't have Dimer. So now all of a sudden, Dimer, it seems like it was just a waste of a perk or a signature skill. For the rest of this regular season, I'm going to be fooling around with the signature skills. I'm going to see what I need and what I don't need. Lockdown Defender turns out to be a really, really good signature skill because ever since I put it on, my matchups are not scoring as well. They're not doing that well offensively. So that's a great one. But there's some things that I'm using that maybe I don't need to use, like floor general and defensive anchor. I've been using them because they supposedly, they up the stats, offensive and defensive stats of your teammates. So I figured that's why I would use them. But I might take them off for a few games to see if my team still plays good defense and still scores efficiently on offense. Because if they do, then all of a sudden that's going to open up two more signature skill slots for me to use on something else. Maybe I can go Shot Creator or Dead Eye, or maybe Heat Retention or something like that. Who knows? I'm going to be experimenting for the rest of the regular season. What a layup right there. I haven't done too many of those where I'm leaning in midair. Daryl Wright was a great pickup for our team. I wish that he was in the game at the end of the game he's not starting i wish there was a way for us to make sure that at the end of the game we have him in there because the spacing is going to be so much better but i do i kind of like him coming off the bench because when they put eric gordon on the bench or ryan anderson then i know i have somebody that can help me score and he's the guy that comes off the bench so we'll have to wait and see what happens this saturday i think i'm finally going to stream that game against the lakers and that might be a game that I decide to release in full on YouTube. And I want you guys to give me your opinion. I have an idea for the playoffs. Obviously, I'm going to be streaming the games. And now that I have this new setup, you won't even know that the game was streamed because when I put it together to go on YouTube, it's going to look just like any other vid I'd ever make. But the idea that I had was to release both the edited version of the game and then release the full game later. 
obviously the edited version of the game is much more watchable i know that you guys are very busy so you don't have an hour to spend on a game but some people actually like those full games so what i wanted to do is playoff time definitely gonna have the edited versions and those videos are gonna come out first and then maybe a few days later after the edited down version i might release the full game for those people that want to see all the plays because when i edit the game down i'm only showing when i score or when i get an assist pretty much i'm not showing any possessions from the cpu unless it's at the very end of the game it's a close game in the fourth then i show like a back and forth battle because you got to see how it develops but that's why i was thinking of doing that so would you be interested in that in me releasing the edited version first and then maybe a few days later dropping the full game now when i drop the full game it's not going to delay any releases of my other videos and that's why i'm not going to release it on the same day i'm going to wait a few days maybe like four or five days you know that way i still have the time to make all the other videos i'm going to make and then it'll just kind of come out one day alongside of other videos it'll just come out for the people that want to see every single play the first quarter second quarter third quarter because the playoffs are going to be interesting there's going to be a lot of runs maybe we go down by 20 points but then in the fourth quarter we're back in the game and you want to see how it happened you're wondering how it happened you're watching the edited version you're looking at the score we're down by 20 in the second quarter and then in the fourth quarter we take the lead so you might want to see that develop or maybe we're up by 20 and the cpu comes back and you want to see how they did it you want to see the cheese so let me know if you think that's a good idea or a bad idea i might just be getting carried away now that i have this fiber optic i can pretty much do anything look at that sexy floater i can pretty much do anything it allows me to upload a, a 50 minute game and it's funny because when i upload that 50 minute game even though the file is really large it only takes like 10 minutes to upload to youtube it's amazing so now i have this motivation i just want to do everything i don't know if you noticed the last few days few weeks i've just been making too many videos i've been going over the quota i've never made this many videos in a month before and i'm just always looking to release that video and let it fly so maybe this is just me getting carried away i don't know uh oh splash i have one more video before that lakers game and i want to stream it because that's a big game i want to save the streaming for big games that's what i want to do so I think on Saturday, I'll make a video if I do stream it. So just watch out for that video to see if I am streaming this Saturday. Really impressive game from you tonight. It seemed like you could do no wrong. What are your thoughts on the game and how you played? It was a great team effort, really. We did a nice job executing on both offense and defense. And when you see your teammates playing so well, it automatically elevates your own game. I think that's what happened with me tonight. I was just caught up in the flow, and not only did we get to win, but it showed in my individual game, too.